Good day everyone, a very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick on the ZX Spectrum 48K. I'm looking at a game that we've looked at on a few different systems. Uh, this one is called Spherical, uh, published by Rainbow Arts in 1989. It's a puzzle platformer where you control a wizard who must guide a purple ball, well, it might be different colours in this case, uh, to uh, an in block or an exit by, by putting various other blocks in different places and doing different power-ups. Anyway, it's based on the game Solomon's Key from the arcade from Tecmo in 1986. Uh, so say we reviewed the Amiga version and showed CVC come out at RST and we looked at the Commodore 64 version as well. Now immediately you can just about see the wizard I'm controlling in the top uh, right. Um, blue against blue is a bad decision but anyway occasionally colour clashing so you see the in block on the bottom of the left uh, there goes the ball blue against blue again got stuck in the middle right now by pressing fire button uh, we can create these red blocks uh, one uh, next to us or above us by pressing down and fire it does it slightly below right so we want to stop the block from falling off there here it comes to the uh, end also now if your wizard if you can just about see him bumps into the enemy you're going to lose a little bit of energy when you lose all your energy you're dead now on the top left i know the level's a little bit similar from the uh, other versions i played in the top left is a ball uh not purple this time red against red mm, this is a bit of a problem the colors are poor here um it's been released and what i should have done see it's got stuck there uh, I can't delete the solid uh, yellow blocks, all I've got is the red blocks. There's diamonds about the place, you can collect those for extra points if you get round to doing it. So I admit already I've um, mucked up this stage and I can't remember what key it was to abort. But it's not on the timer, I might have to just, like experiment with hitting a few uh, things. So that's basically it really, a ball is released after a set amount of time, you must clear the course or by putting blocks down so it makes a clear path to the exit point and it quite easily can go in the wrong place and you're, and you're in trouble. Now you can see already with this game uh, because of the, uh, the small character you're controlling which was apparent on all the ones but in here because it's the same colour as the blooming background it makes it very hard to see uh, what you're doing uh, there especially if you're watching you might know, not know where the hell I am on the screen but when you're playing you've got half a chance but um, yes yeah, that bit's poor but apart from that that was a bit of magic I released trying to exit the thing right how am I going to get out of here I don't know Nicky so that's what I should have done I should have done a map up there planted a block there uh, so it would have uh, got smoothly across and then down to the bottom if you've got a block down your bottom then comment in the comment section below no actually do not this is a PG channel uh, no swearing here uh, but uh, you know there's nothing against channels that do swear it's just that's not the style of this thing so you can watch it with your kids right is that exit it no I think I paused it what was the exit one of these buttons maybe it was F was it F don't know F for finito so this isn't expert gameplay, you've seen this already. It's about seeing how you would have got on your first or second go. Uh, there. Uh, if I didn't know the other versions, I would, to be fair, although there's a big colour problem, I would um, I would have liked it. Um, the movement of the character itself is good as he floats down off the blocks. It's quite easy to know what to do. Uh, magic. When you release some magic, if you collect that, it'll destroy all the enemies on the screen, so best to leave that for a later stage. Right, so this one's fairly straightforward. Put that red block down. Here comes the ball, which is purple in every other version. So do check out the Commodore 64 version. Do check out the Amiga version. Um, this looks typically Spectrum, but uh, I had a Spectrum back in the day, so I'm biased. Um, but uh, this is the weakest of the ones so far, just because of the poor choice of colours. Right, so I planted that hole in the floor this time. If you had this game back in the day, then let me know. But as puzzle games go, uh, you can forgive. You can forgive a lot of the colour clash, and it, it, it is it, it is moving smoothly. There's a lot moving on screen at the same time. You would get used to eventually the uh, the red on the red or the blue on the blue. So time's ticking in the bottom right. You see, that's a timer for when the ball's going to be released. You see, it's just about midway on the left. It's a magenta one this time. It's in disguise. It's camouflaged like the predator. And I'm, on this one, I remember I've got to make a bridge right the way across so it doesn't fall down the bottom. And then, oh god, up against it. Then, then I'm going to uh, dig a hole in that and try and build um, a stairway up so it falls into the inn. Happy days! Good guys. Oh no, yes, any collision with the ghosts, you losing energy big time. That's going to go in, first time all the time, Avaline. Yay! Good, good, good. 
If you watch this far into the video, please consider subscribing. Uh, there's a lot of competition out there from ch new channels all the time. But uh, if, you've, if you've watched at least one video on this one, then thank you very much. Right, what's that? Is that a power up over there? Not sure. Right, there's the inn you can see. Uh, there's a big trophy on the top right. I think that, from, from playing the Amiga version, I think that might be a warp gate to another stage. Right, so there's a lot of levels in this. Um, I'm basically on the, the, the basic levels at the moment, just doing blocks, but there will be other stuff to do the later you get on. So it's got a good learning curve on this one, and I could highly recommend it. Yes, good. It is a good, it is a good game, really. Spherical. You might not have heard of it. You might not have heard of it, or you might have had it all the time. Right, off we go again. Next stage. Stage four, it says, on the top middle. I am, I am enjoying it, really. I mean, I, I, I did... Um, have a go at the colours to begin with, but I, I'm getting used to it now. Right, what is that over there? Is that a warp? No, I'm invincible, it says. I can pass through anything. Here comes the ball. Here comes the ball. Um, right, so it's quite obvious what I need to do here. I need to build a stairway to the inn without losing my ball down the bottom. Now I think there's a purple vial about midway bottom. I think that's poison if you bump into that. And I've bumped into it, so I'm gonna do it. Well done, Nick. Game over. See, I was doing well, but then I drunk poison. So, you know, if you're doing well, then don't drink poison. That's my tip for the top. There we go, top of the leaders board. Programmed by Darren White, artwork by Jason Green. Did that say? Oh we're off it quite quick. Right, light backgrounds. Could we get could we go dark backgrounds? Hmm, I'll keep it on light for the time being. Right, let's have another go. Bum ba bum ba bum ba bum bum. No in-game music. Well, it's 48k. It wouldn't, it's 128k it might be music there. But the, what the music is there is suffices. That's all you need really for a puzzle game. So this first level is fairly straightforward, isn't it? Whoops, there we go. Get the ball into there. So that's, that was a bit of a lighter background. Next up, you know what to do, don't you? Because I've told you on other versions and reviews as well. Build this stairway up here. There we go. Plug that gap. Good. Thank you to the members keeping this uh, channel running. It is really, really appreciated. I'll try and give as much as we p I possibly can. If you want to see other ZX Spectrum reviews, there is a link in the description called Other ZX Spectrum Games or Commentaries. Can't quite remember which of the two I've said, but it's there. But if you want to go the long way or if you can't find it, click on my username, take to the channel page, click on the playlist tab and ZX Spectrum will be there, along with a load of other systems, and also an index of every game reviewed on the channel in bunches of 50 in the reviewed game summary. So check that out, check that out. That is a, 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 a chip down memory lane. That is nostalgia, baby. Right, what do we do here? You know what to do here. You're shouting at the screen, build a big red bridge. Oh God, uh, up against it, come on. Don't wanna lose my ball. There we go, good, right. So plug, oops, wrong one. Plug that out of the way. Build a big gateway up here, that's in the wrong place. I'm going to muck this up. Am I going to muck this up? Stop the ball from going that way. It's going to fall down. You don't get crushed by the ball. Not in this game. Away we go again. I wouldn't mind trying to get that trophy up the top, really. I want to get the warp, the warp gate. Bum, 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 bum. He's wizarding about. You can't really tell he's a wizard. He could well be a bishop. Uh, bishops can only move diagonally, of course, in chess. I'm not sure in real life. If you are a bishop in real life and you can only move diagonally, then comment in the comment section below. What's it like? Do you want to go straight forward but can't? You can't move in a diagonal fashion. I suppose if you're moving diagonal with zigzagging, zigzagging, it's harder to shoot you uh, if someone's got a machine gun. So that always works out. Well done, bishops. You learn a lot of stuff here. Uh, I do go off on a tangent quite a bit. I don't care. I can't be fixed. I can't. I suppose I could go to the doctors and try and fix it, but why? Why fix that? I think the doctor would uh, probably resign the same day. Next patient, Nicky Jenkins. Oh god, it's time for me to go home or lunch. Oh look, I got stuck there. I lost. Oh, dude. Right, that's probably enough for a review. But I want to have one more go. It's a one more go sort of affair. Jason Green did do the artwork. There he is. There. Well done him. Uh, dark backgrounds this time. Doesn't seem to make a great. Yeah, I suppose the light backgrounds gave me light cyan. Uh, the dark grounds, grounds give me like dark blue. But the characters are the same colour as the background, so that's pointless. Why didn't they have the dark background and then the character light coloured and vice versa? Don't have, don't have your character the same colour as the background. Nincompoopery. 
I had magic for everyone that killed the enemy but I didn't really need to do that so that was a wasted power up Ugh. he never learns does he this guy's a nincompoop he runs this channel like a big wally and that's what you need really only a wally would run a youtube channel for this length of time the amount of stick you get but you do get a lot of fun as well we're here to stress bust and nothing else it's, in, it's not encyclopedic although we'll give you some information uh, some of the gameplay will be a bit rubbish well a lot of it will be to be fair uh, but um, you know sometimes it's on the standpoint of just getting it on a C90 tape you wouldn't necessarily have had the instructions but I'll try and piece the thing together not everyone gets it but you get it so thank you very much big nose when I say big nose I don't mean you've got a massive big nose I mean it as a term of affection big blooming nose right boom boom oh man caravan building a red bridge to your heart Right, I'm going, I'm going super fast now. So you can see, even after a few goes, I'm steaming fast a few, few levels. So I know exactly what to do. But this is, this is expert gameplay now. Right, magenta on magenta. Let's not, let's not so completely argue the point. Oh, I'm gonna, am I not going to do it this time? I think I am. I don't, I don't really need that one there, but we've done it. Right, stage three. You tell me what to do. We need to go this time at least with a big yellow trophy at the top let's warp baby let's warp somewhere else and let's oh god how do I, mm, okay i think i need to go up the right hand side don't i somehow destroy uh, some of those red blocks on the right hand side but i'm not sure i've got much strength left to be fair well, mind you if i block that bloke away uh, should have done that Oh no, I'm playing like a big twit. Oh, the ball's coming along. That's stuck there. But hopefully we won't need it anymore if I'm going to do a warpy warpy thing. Right, let's get to that, that thing up there. I think it is a warp from other versions. We'll soon find out. Is that or poison or something really bad? Right, ready? Boom. Yes, warp level. That's most enjoyable. I do like finding a secret warp. Oh, if you're warped, then comment below. Now, I think I got off this section on the Amiga version. Where's the ball? Can't you see where the ball is? Oh, it's in the top left, looking very dark blue. Uh, yeah, this that, now this is getting a bit too tricky for me. Now I need to I need to freeze the screen and try and work out what is going on in this thing. Nice. This is yeah, this is very nice. It is not stage three, is it? At the top, it's, it's um, is that how many lives you got? I don't know. Perhaps it means it's the third screen I've done. But we're going up. You can have two players. If you do two players, it's turn based. Yes, I really like this game. It is flawed with the colours, but once you get away from that out of your brain, if you don't know the alpha versions, it's a not really nice uh, puzzle game. For that, I like the thing, and uh, hopefully it got some accolades back in the day because it deserved it. So, you know, terrible colour, but okay once you get used to it. I think that's fair to say in the Spectrum world. So I hope you liked having a look at that one. That was Spherical, a good puzzle game published by Rainbow Arts in 1989, um, influenced by the arcade game Solomon's Key in by Tecmo in 1986. Got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then put that in the comment section below. You're always more than welcome. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye. I'm invincible, it says. I can pass through anything. Here comes the ball. Here comes the ball. Did 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 did